Hello and welcome back to our Bible story time. I'm so glad that you're here to join us today. We're reading a story from the Lectionary Story Bible, which is by Ralph Melton, and I'm so grateful that Ralph gave his permission for us to use his stories. Today we're reading I Hate Being Small, and it's based on Acts 8, 26 to 38. The teenage boys liked to tease Taharaka. That's because he was small. When the other boys his age were growing tall, Taharaka seemed to stay the same size. And it took a long time before his voice started to change and his beard began to grow. Taharaka hated it when the other boys teased him. Hi, shorty, they would yell. It's not my fault, he yelled back. But the other boys teased him anyway. So Taharaka worked really hard at school. His hard work helped him forget about being small and that he didn't have any friends. Taharaka worked so hard that he became the best student in his school. And when Taharaka finished school, he kept working just as hard so that one day the queen of Ethiopia asked him to look after all her money. Taharaka became one of the most important people in Ethiopia. Even though he was important, Taharaka was still always the smallest person in every group. He hated that. He tried to stand as tall as he could, but it didn't help. So he just worked harder and harder, and the queen kept giving him more and more important things to do. One day, the queen sent Taharaka to Jerusalem, which was a long way from Ethiopia. While he was there, Taharaka went to the temple to worship, and he bought a book, a book written by the prophet Isaiah. On his way home, Taharaka was reading his new book. He knew it was an important book, but he didn't understand many parts of it. He was riding on a chariot pulled by horses. He read his book out loud because that helped him understand the words better. Philip, one of Jesus' disciples, was walking along that road as Taharaka drove by. He heard Taharaka reading, The little lamb is quiet, even though they are taking the wool from its back. It's wrong, but nobody else cares. Nobody cares what is happening to the little lamb, and it isn't fair. When Philip heard the Haraka read these words, he called out, Excuse me, sir, do you understand what you're reading? No, said Taharaka, do you understand these words? Yes, I do, said Philip. Then please come and ride with me in my chariot and tell me th what these words mean. Philip climbed into the chariot. Those words are from the prophet Isaiah, said Philip. He was writing about the way in which some people suffer because of things that are not their fault, and it isn't fair. Well, I know about that, said Taharka. Then he told Philip what it was like being the smallest boy and how all the other boys had teased him when he didn't grow tall. Did Jesus really say that God loves everyone, asked Taharka. What about me? What about short people like me? If you can do kind and good things for other people, it doesn't matter whether you are short or tall, said Philip. But what about my skin? I come from Africa and my skin is black. Philip smiled. God made your skin black just the way God made my skin brown. And God thinks we are both beautiful. But I'm not Jewish. Jesus was Jewish. None of that matters, laughed Philip. Jesus told us to love God with our hearts, with our souls, and with our minds, and to love other people the way we love ourselves. Maybe that's my problem, said Taharika. I don't love myself very much. Can you believe that God loves you, asked Philip. Taharika was quiet for a long moment. Then some tears came into his eyes, but there was a small smile on his face. Yes, yes, I think, I feel as if God loves me. Philip had a wide smile on his face. I know God loves you. If you can really believe that, then maybe you can start loving yourself. Look, there's some water over there, Taharaka told the chariot driver to stop. 
Do you think I could be baptized in that water? Oh, yes, said Philip. So he and Taharika walked over to the water. Philip dipped Taharika under the water for just a moment. Then he lifted Taharika up and said, This water washed you clean on the outside and on the inside. You are now a friend of Jesus, and Jesus will help you live in God's way. I'm so glad that you came to join us for our story time today, and I hope you'll be back again tomorrow. Bye for now.